oh, you know, I thought I'll just save some money. But I knew then. That's when the financial um, status in Korea was getting very difficult. And my dad had to give up so much so that he could have me and, you know, I, or he could have the rest of the family living well in Australia. Damn. So that's when I was like, ooh, seeing that, I was like, wow, what the hell is going on? Man, your dad had to make some cheddar to pay for that. Oh, man. Man, like that's… I, I mean, like going back to the subject we were talking about before. What made you change and actually study? So I haven't been to Korea once I stepped into Australia for about like good five years. Mm-hmm. Right? They didn't want me to come back because they thought that that's going to destroy my pattern or like the way of thinking yeah, yeah. for yeah. me adjusting to Australia. So they stopped me coming to Korea. But after five years, I went to Korea to see my dad… And we used to live in a great house, you know. Um, my dad used to drive a nice car. And I was always known as a little kid who had like great parents and with money and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But then I came back to Korea. I, I was expecting the same car and the same house, right? And my dad came to pick me and my fam- like me and my little brother and my mom. And my dad came in with this like little small car that wouldn't even fit our luggages. And I was like, what is this, dad? Like what happened? It's like, oh, nothing. I just decided to save some money. I was like, cool, cool. And so we got to the house that we're going, we used to live in, right? And no. Oh, you moved. Okay, cool. So I was expecting a bigger house because mm. I knew how well off my dad was back then with his business. Yeah. And I got there. It was like a, sh- it was like a very small little uh, townhouse mm-hmm. or something like that. And I got there and there was somebody else in, in, in the living room. I was like, what is this? And he said, oh, I, I'm living upstairs in like a little attic. Oh. I was like, huh? What happened? He was just saying, oh, you know, I thought I'll just save some money. But I knew then. That's when the financial um, status in Korea was getting very difficult. And my dad had to give up so much so that he could have me and, you know, I, or he could have the rest of the family living well in Australia. Damn. So that's when I was like, ooh. Wow. Seeing that, I was like, wow, what the hell is going on? But then being a little kid, I was very angry. Not thinking oh, I should do well. I was mm. the opposite. I was, yeah. I was like, yo, what is going on? Like, is this what I deserve? Why did you send me to Australia in the first place? And if you're going to go through it. And when was this when he picked you up in the new car? And you so that was house? when I was in grade eight. Whoa. So it's like second year of middle school. Second, yeah. third year yeah. of middle school. So I was like, yo, why did you even send me to Australia? And if you're going to go through I want to. I want to go back. So I would like fight with my family a lot about that. Like, I want to go back. I want to go back. Not because I wanted to go back, you know, just because I don't want to see my dad living like this. At least save some money on me. Like spending money, like, you know, mm. on me. At least like, go all in with my little brother because he's a smart kid, not me. But, you know, they still thought that I, I needed to be there. At least graduate, you know, university and whatnot. I was like, okay, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. I'm in my last year of my, you know, high school. Okay. My dad went through that. My mom, I had to see my mom come to school like almost every six months asking my principal, yo, can we just pay the fees later on? Like, can we just push the dates mm. a little bit? Due dates a little bit? Because it is difficult. Yeah. You know, it was very difficult for our family. And that's when I was like, okay. I've done all the stuff that I could in Australia. Mm-hmm. What should I do now? That's when I thought, okay, at least let's get into university. That's when I started. Um, last year in my high school and that's how I got into university. But yeah, I mean like now it's all in history. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the clip. If you did, listen to the full episode on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And make sure to subscribe to this channel, Dive Studios, and put those notifications on. Hit that bell. Boop, boop, boop.